So we're here today with Christian Brown, one of our sponsored athletes. Um, for the people at home who don't know you and what events you compete in, Christian, do you want to let them know what it is you compete in? Uh, so I'm a decathlete. Uh, that is that involves ten track and field events uh, on over two days. So we start off with the hundred meters. We then go to the long jump, then throw the shot put, then high jump. Uh, finish with a, a nice four hundred meters. Uh, then we go home, rest, come back for the second day, we hurdle, we then throw discus, we pole vault, we throw javelin, and then we end with a 1500 metres. So it's quite a sort of intense two days, and you know, I imagine you have to train like for a lot of stamina and make sure that you've got good stamina to keep it up at all those events over the two days. Yes, um, they're not, it's known as a speed power event, uh, the endurance um, is only really required in the 400 meters, um, but in terms of stamina and stuff in the 1500, um, it's more of a, a mental game, like how you can get psyched up between the events um, and like not following stuff over to other events. And how do you psych yourself up before an event? Do you have you got like a certain regime that you follow? Have you got certain music that you listen to? Um, it all changes. Uh, so stuff like music uh, that changes all the time. It's at like, one time it could be. So it's basically anything that can get me psyched up, so what my taste in music could be at that certain time. It's not, um, I don't have a certain certain music that I listen to. So uh, you don't have a playlist like uh, on your phone uh, or anything? It's really hard, because uh, when I train I like to psych myself up as well, so I find that if I listen to the same music I get bored. So I'm, like before like big competitions I find myself uh, trying to create a new playlist. Um, but it, it all changes. So anything that just got like a nice beat, um, get me pumped. And how long have you been competing for now? So when I was in year seven, um, I got into athletics. Uh, my secondary school, we were like we were pretty good athletics school. Like we'd won national championships and stuff. Uh, I started off as a javelin thrower in year seven. Uh, carried on that through to year eight, year nine, and the start of year ten. Uh, then uh, I applied for um, an Essex multi-events team. Um, I ended up winning that, and ever since then, uh, I kind of I shifted my focus towards the multi-events, and I'm here now. Good. Is there anyone in sort of multi-events that you sort of look up to or aspire to, or is it just purely your dedication and drive that pushes you on? Uh, at the moment, there's uh, a young decathlete from Australia coming up called Cedric Dubler. And he is, um, he, I followed him from when he was a junior and he went to the Olympics last year. Um, I think that he's going to be like one of the, like one of the stars of the future. Uh, he posts vlogs on YouTube. Uh, I wa I've watched all of them like countless times. So, uh, definitely he's a motivation. He inspires me to. So watching him gets you sort of motivated. Yeah, and yeah definitely. He's got uh, one certain video. He filmed his whole uh, World Junior Championships of like each individual event um, of how he was feeling, and yeah, it's, it's good. Good. Um, what about in terms of nutrition? How do you sort of tailor your nutrition towards your competing and, and things like that? So before I don't really have anything that I just strictly follow. I find that if I did that when I went to certain competitions. And they didn't have what I needed. It would like mess with um, like my preparation. So I just tend to um, fuel up on uh, carbs, um, something that will fill me up uh, during the morning and keep me going throughout the rest of the day. Because obviously it's over like the whole day. Uh, during I'll have uh, anything carbs. If I'm not feeling hungry, I won't eat. I'll just keep hydrated. Um, after the day, obviously I intake a lot of protein at dinner, and then uh, we'll start off the second day with the same sort of routine as the first day. Um, so since you've been with Cedar Hall under this sponsorship program, how have you find that it's helped you with sort of being able to compete and and carry on with athletics? So uh, it was the end of last season that uh, that I got the sponsorship um, over the winter. Obviously, you put you try and put your body through a lot of stress to come out next season stronger. Uh, the stresses that I've placed on my body, um, I've I've had a couple of injuries. And I've I've come to see the hall and they've 
you know they've helped me through a couple of injuries uh whenever i need advice or nutrition you know they're, they're there to help me um it's it's really good good and uh, just to finish off with have you got any words for any aspiring young athletes out there that may be thinking about giving it a go but aren't too sure yeah just just try out what you want what you want to do if you're starting off in another event when you're younger um, and like you're not so good at other events just carry on growing and developing because when I was younger I was a javelin thrower I developed and uh, become a decathlete at done every event um, so yeah if you if if you like athletics try it do loads of events if you've got an event that you like uh, pursue it